And now we'll have Sajjad Hussain Tuhin. He's the Young Research Coordinator with CLEAN, Coastal Livelihood and Environmental Action Network in Bangladesh. He will speak on, of course, the power um, uh, that will go from Goda to Bangladesh and the state of electricity in his country. Tuhin. Uh, thank you, Vidya. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. So I have made a small presentation, which I wanted to share. And uh, I just wanted to uh, say about the Bangladeshi perspectives of this power plant. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So first of all, if we look at the power generation and demand for last year in Bangladesh, uh, we will find that in 2011, we have almost balanced our demand and generation of electricity supply in Bangladesh. And from uh, 2012, we are uh, in over capacity. The gap between the required and industrial capacity of electricity is increasing. And uh, we are now producing over 8,000 megawatt of electricity than our actual demand. So uh, this is a kind of energy mix. If we look at uh, the uh, overall uh, power and energy sector in Bangladesh, there is uh, 139 power plants uh, with the capacity of 23,605 megawatt. And almost all of them are coming from the fossil fuel. Uh, gas is the largest contributor and almost 46% of the uh, current production is coming from it. Uh, HFO is also running in the second position, which is another dirty uh, uh, fuel and uh, followed by uh, several captive power plants, HSDs. And we are also looking for importing the power from other countries, especially from India. Though we are looking uh, for full renewable energy uh, by 2050 as uh, the statement of Paris Agreement, but our renewable energy generation is uh, only 3% right at the moment. So uh, till uh, in addition to that, we are also constructing more 38 new power plants aiming to generate more 13,870 megawatt more power by uh, 2025, and most of those uh, portion uh, is will come from the coal, which is contribute uh, about 7,100 megawatt gas and LNG, and we also have a nuclear uh, nuclear power plants. Uh, if we analyze the total uh, fuel of this upcoming 38 power plants, uh, the 38 percent of those power will coming from coal. So now, uh, if we put our eyes on the gap between the capacity and requirement, uh, uh, just in the recent month, we will found that uh, about 44.3% of our existing power plants uh, are idle. And we are looking for more power plants. So there, uh, with all those issues and illegitimate planning, in the power sector of Bangladesh, we have another monster damaging our economy, which is uh, capacity charge. This is a charge or portion of a plant load factor charging by the power plant executive agencies for minimal generation. And it's raising our, uh, raising at a very fast. If you look at the chart uh, in 2009, we have paid only uh, 223 million US dollar uh, in the name of capacity charge. And now we are paying about 2.36 billion, which uh, will uh, create a huge economic burden on our country. So however, we are looking for um, our external allies uh, for generating more power. And uh, India is one of our biggest friend and contributor uh, to it, uh, like several issues. So uh, these are the energy corporation now working in Bangladesh. Uh, currently, several massive uh, coal-fired power plants are constructing inside Bangladesh and inside India as well, uh, in the name of Indo-Bangla Joint Venture, and all of them are in fossil fuel. 
Adani Gudda Power Plant is one of the most uh, important part of it, and uh, it is the only under construction power plants in India to supply the electricity in Bangladesh. Along with uh, those issues, India and its private corporations will contribute around 7,000 megawatt of electricity in Bangladesh in upcoming future. So if we uh, look at a very sh uh, short description about the Adani, uh, the invasion of Adani in power sector of Bangladesh starts in uh, 2010 by signing the initial agreement. Uh, later on in uh, uh, 2015, the MOU has been signed with BPDB, uh, Bangladesh Power Development Board, and the PPA period was for 25 years and it will start from 2022. So it will uh, finish uh, uh, by 2047. So uh, now if we look at the power tariff of Adani Group uh, comparing the other uh, coal and uh, renewable energies in Bangladesh, uh, we will find that Adani Gudda coal power plant is one of the expensive power plants because it will uh, cost about 7.53 BDT Bangladeshi Taka for a unit. But uh, the other power trading corporations from India, which is imported by Bangladesh, is now uh, uh, averaging 7.26 BDT. And if we compare it to the solar power, uh, in India, it is it was 2.74 Bangladeshi Taka, and our uh, other coal power plants are also cheaper than the Adani Gudda proposed power plants. So, these are the economic scenario of this uh, Adani power. So finally, uh, it will be too expensive for us, and almost 25 percent higher than the usual price. Uh, it is obvious that Bangladesh will not require any electricity right at this moment, but uh, we are also experiencing the overcapacity. However, Bangladesh will have to pay about uh, 331 million US dollar per year for this particular power plants in the name of capacity charge. And if we calculate for 25 years, we have to pay over uh, 8,500. So at the end of six years, Adani Group will recover uh, its all investment uh, done in this Adani Goda power plants from the capacity charge alone. However, according to the Paris Agreement and uh, Bangladesh's place through Climate Vulnerable Forum, which is uh, uh, CVF, in 2015 you need to end right now the country uh, we have we have uh, some agreement that we will go for renewables by 2050 uh, but uh, the these power plants will end in uh, 2047 so we don't have any transition period for this so uh, finally one second don't make us a uh, scapegoat for your own profit and we don't need any kind of electricity from any of the power plants of adani group so thank you all Okay, I'll try. So, uh, Tuhin, who uh, is in Bangladesh, a 30 Ajivika or uh, Paryavaran Wale Action Group, which uh, is called Clean, which means that this is also clean, clean, clean. So, they said that we don't have any need for Bangladesh to Adani Power Plant. They told us in the full detail that how does Bangladesh have a need for जितनी ऊर्जा की जरूरत है वो बांग्लादेश में खुद बांग्लादेश पैदा करती है बल्कि 2012 के बाद से वो जितनी उनकी जरूरत है उससे कहीं ज्यादा तैयार कर रही है 8000 मेगावाट अधिक तैयार कर रही है आज की तारीख में तो इसलिए ये जो कंपनियां हैं इन्हें क्यों बुलावा दिया जा रहा है इन्हें इन, इनकी हमें कतई जरूरत नहीं है उन्होंने ये भी दिखाया कि अडानी जो जिस तरह के चार्जेस ले रही है जैसे जो कैपेसिटी चार्ज है यानी क्षमता शुल्क है वो जब और अन्य जो निजी पावर कंपनियां हैं उनका जो क्षमता शुल्क है वो 230 करोड़ रुपया बांग्लादेश को देना पड़ेगा जबकि आपको जरूरत ही नहीं है उसकी उस त, उस इसी तरीके से उन्होंने दिखाया कि 2010 से लेकर के अब तक अडानी की कंपनी जो है वो किस तरह से बांग्लादेश के पावर सेक्टर में ऊर्जा सेक्टर में एक तरह से चढ़ाई कर रही है 
और उसमें उसमें एक एक चढ़ाई और कब्जा एक तरह का कर रही है और उन्होंने बिल्कुल शॉर्ट में अगर कहें तो ये बताया कि देखिए अडानी का जो ऊर्जा हमें मिलेगा अडानी से वो अन्य पावर कंपनियों की तुलना में और अन्य ऊर्जा के स्रोतों की तुलना में वो कहीं ज्यादा पैसा ले रहे हैं हमसे यानी बांग्लादेश को बांग्लादेश के लोगों को ज्यादा पैसा देना पड़ेगा और अडानी की हालत ये है कि अगर उन्होंने एक यूनिट भी अगर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी तैयार नहीं किया तब भी छह साल के अंदर उन वो सिर्फ कैपेसिटी क्षमता शुल्क के आधार पर ही वो अपने कॉस्ट वो दोबारा वापस ले लेंगे और इसलिए इसके खिलाफ इन्होंने बिल्कुल साफ कहा हमें बलि का बकरा मत बनाइए हमें कतई जरूरत नहीं है अडानी की हमें अडानी के पावर की कतई जरूरत बांग्लादेश को नहीं है हमें अपने ऊपर आप, आप निर्भर मत बनाइए आपको हमारी जरूरत हम आप हमें बलि का बकरा बना रहे मत बनाइए